So in this good enough form, you know, has been stopped today at one 0 lost to Consit. What did you think of that performance? Yeah, um, I think a point would have been a fair, fair, fair reflection of the game. Um, the wind was really strong going down the pitch um, to, towards the bottom right goal. Uh, first half, I don't think we capitalised on it enough, but we did test the keeper two or three times and make up saves. I think second half, they didn't really capitalise on it. I thought we, we did well against the wind, played some good football and got the pitch well. Um, draw being fair result and we've just been done by a really freak goal where the lads blocked Luke Hogg's clearance and he's managed to curl backspin over Ben's head and drop under the crossbar and it could have gone anywhere and unfortunately it's in the back of our net. We went a little bit flat then but we, we, we had a goal when we made the change to the sub, gave a bit more impetus to us play, um, attack their goal but again didn't really test the keeper with any any shots to save in the, in the second half and therein lies our, I think uh, a reflection of our season that we've only won one away from home we've drawn seven but uh, we haven't either taken advantage of it being an even game and today was an even game and we know we're hard to play against hard to beat but we haven't taken advantage of that opportunity we had when we were on top of the second half we've been done by a, a three goal and they've seen it out so yeah look we can't fault lines endeavour and effort I think we could have been a bit more aggressive but play with a bit more purpose in the first half in terms of committing forward, uh, get his back line higher as midfield, then close to the front three, our front three, then up against their, their back three and downsize them. I don't think we did that enough, um, but it wasn't a massive fault, it was just something we could have done better. Second half, I thought we were brave in possession, we tried to play with a win, we, we, we got his line right uh, defensively, but we were putting balls in the box and we weren't attacking them and then we were having shots, but they were going over the bar, they weren't, we weren't making the keeper work, so yeah. Disappointing to lose, but we lost to a free goal and uh, a draw would have been a fair result. When one of those freak goals goes in, it was a mad effort. I don't think I've seen anything like it. Firstly, have you ever seen anything like that goal? And do you just sometimes hold Jens up thinking it's definitely not going to be our day if that's going in? Yeah, yeah, like obviously, you wouldn't have the goal because you're really just playing. We're normally looking for the fault or the, the, I can prevent it, but like somebody didn't track the runner, something get tight out, no, somebody didn't follow in. All those reasons, and oh, it wasn't that one there. Luke's got great purges on it. The lad's just turned his back and he's hit the back of his legs, and he could have gone anywhere. And the spin has taken it over Townsend, but made it drop in. And it was it was a bizarre goal, but it's one that's won them the game. Um, you look at Luke Hogg stepping in and sort of shot tackle. Didn't get any higher than about a foot off the ground. So much power behind it, but their keeper just reacted and put his arm out and, and saved it. So unfortunately, we come on the wrong side of luck and. Um, probably sums up our season. We've seen a lot of rotation in the front three this season. It was Today it was Dolman, Rawson and Poole. Obviously we've been doing that to try and see if we can get more goals. Do you have an idea of what your main three will be for the rest of the season? Yeah, look, Jack Watson has been in Jamaica for two weeks. He's going to come back yesterday. Uh, Jack Watson has been excellent. He's will nine times out of ten be, be now starting three. But he had to come back and obviously straight off the plane. Uh, Tommy Marshall's done well, but I thought Jack Dolman deserved his start because of the two two goals that he scored. And we, I just wanted to play with a bit more natural width with a left and a right foot and try and get the ball in. And we did it in moments in the game, but not enough. Uh, for that, I wanted Luke's presence up against their, their big centre half and their three centre halves. And took us, obviously, it was excellent up here against Dunstan, and he, he gives you something from nothing. So they all bring different uh, attributes and strengths to, to, to our front line. Charlie Bean has been really unfortunate. He, had a brilliant game against uh, at home against these, but he injured his knee uh, at work, and we think it may be a meniscus tear, so maybe an operation. Now for the rest of the season, so really unfortunate for him. So it's that front five that we we had involved today. It's up to them to to take their place and, and stake their claim, and if they if they do well, go for the start. Uh, we're in a position where we're really just playing for pride and and getting into a position where we can be as high up the table as possible so lads are going to play with a bit of freedom a bit of confidence and, and as I said to him before the game I'm looking for, for next season I'm looking for the squad players that I want with me uh, not as much the ability but have they got the attitude and commitment between now and the end of the season to be in our squad next season So it's going to be next it is actually going to be next season I got that wrong yeah. last week hence why that got a sudden party yeah. if you're wondering why it suddenly cut off the interview last week that's my mistake yeah. I got back in the change and thought oh it's Mr Week <laughs> Anyway, we'll preview it properly, Gunter Borough, a team that we've never finished the game with 11 men against. <laughs> can, can we keep all 11 men on the pitch? Never mind the three points, yeah, what about the 11 that's men? The first thing, I've just said to them in there, look, we've, we've put it right for what happened at home. Uh, we've been playing with obviously nine men. 
Uh, Grimsby are good side, got a lot of respect for their management team, good relationship with them. Uh, I like how they play and what they try and do. Um, I'm hoping it'll be a, a really good football match and hopefully one that we can come out on top. Um, it's really important that we do give 100% now, we don't want the season to fizzle out. Look, I'm not, I don't want us to be finishing just above relegation or, or looking over his shoulder with a couple of games to go. I want us to be as high up that league as we can, so it's really important the players show me with their preparation, their attitude and commitment that they've got the right approach to every game. Because uh, I want to win the next six, so I hope they do as well. Uh, the first one's Grimsby and we'll do as very best. Thank you very much, Ian. Cheers, Adam. Thank you.